hello everybody i hope you're all having a great day today i just want to share with you something that kind of just popped in my mind and that is the quote by bob proctor that says if you can see it in your mind you can hold it in your hand i think that that quote is so relevant to what's going on in the world right now because i know in my heart that there are probably a lot of people right now who have so many dreams in their heart that they feel like they probably can't accomplish because of what is going on right now. This is not the world's first pandemic and it probably will not be the last. And second, if your dream came from God, there is no illness, there is no storm, there is no obstacle that could stop you from accomplishing that dream. Now, it may take you a little bit more time to make that dream a reality than you originally thought, or you may have to switch up your strategy, but you can accomplish it. Guys, try not to get so caught up in what's going on in the world right now. I know that that's hard because people who are losing loved ones because of illnesses and or even because of social injustice, but my prayers go out to them and I think that we should all uh, pray for those who are grieving during this time. But I also think that we should use this as an opportunity to be a little self-centered. Yes, I think that we should be using this time where we can't exactly, excuse me, this time when you know, we can't exactly do all the fun things that we could previously do safely, like going out with friends and family and maybe even traveling. But I think now was a good time to really focus on our personal development and finding out who we truly are and focusing on what we want out of life. And I think that we should be praying to God or whoever your higher power may be um, to ask for guidance. My higher power, of course, is God. For my fellow Christians, I think that now is a great time period for us to really um, practice hearing God's voice and because even though the Rona situation is very real, I also think of it as a little bit of a distraction. I also think of this situation as an open door for God's influence in our life if we will allow it. I think that we should be focusing on God's will for our life even during this season. Because his ways are not like our ways and his plans do not follow logic. That is the beautiful thing about how God works. Guys, sorry, but I cannot give you a magical formula for how you can accomplish your dreams. But I feel I must say, um, conform your will to God's will for your life. And do not conform your will to this world because as you can see the game has changed up on us <laughs> and i really think that we shouldn't just rely um on our own strategy right now because god has a plan that just may go against your strategy but have fun and spend some time with god through prayer he is such a loving entity and I am sure he'd be very happy to hear from you. And that is all I have to say to you amazing viewers. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my Fuchsia Babe YouTube channel. Have a blessed day.